Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. Today we're shooting from uh, my veranda at the uh, Malia Punta Cana Beach Resort and it's a beautiful day, just spectacular here. I'll give you a look around. It is just a beautiful spot. Now, I'm one of the few people here, I think maybe there's a handful of us, who spend the winter at an all-inclusive resort. And we love it, it's a great option for us. But it might not be the best option for everybody. Some of you might prefer a short-term rental, maybe you're coming down here for a month, two months, three months, and you want to stay in a condominium, you want to do your own cooking, and but at the same time you want something secure, you want something close to restaurants, you want something that's close to shopping and uh, you know a pharmacy. Well if that's you and you're thinking about staying in the Dominican Republic for two or three months uh, you know for the winter, you want to watch today's video because yesterday we got to visit a beautiful condominium complex right here in Punta Cana. A local realtor by the name of Maria Williams took us to visit this place and I got to tell you, we were impressed. This condominium complex is secure, it's got a security guard at the front gate, it's close to everything and I was frankly shocked at how beautiful it was, how well appointed it was, and how close it was to everything. Uh, just a beautiful experience. So we're going to take you today, we're going to walk to the condominium with uh, Maria. She's going to talk about the community on the way there. And when we get there, we're going to take you on a nice video tour of this condominium building and you're going to love what you're going to see. You're going to be shocked by what you see. So I hope you'll join me. And uh, without further ado, let's go have a look at this condo building. Today we have a special episode. We're doing something a little different. We're going to be visiting a vacation rental property here in Punta Cana. And admittedly, I stay at all-inclusive resorts, so uh, these rental properties aren't my forte. But fortunately today, I have Maria Williams with us. She is a property manager and real estate professional from Punta Cana. And today she's going to be taking us on a tour of a very nice property here that's close to all the amenities, restaurants, pharmacies, shopping. So we're going to have a walk and go look at the property, and we're going to chat about uh, what's involved in renting a long-term rental in Punta Cana and what you should look for. So without further ado, I'll introduce you to Maria. Hello, nice to meet you. So we're going to walk along here and uh, we're going to talk about uh, long-term uh, vacation properties. Now the first question I'm going to have for Maria is um, one in terms of safety because I know people stay at all-inclusives and they're concerned about safety if they're not staying at an all-inclusive. So Maria, I'll ask you, um, tell us about the safety aspect of staying in a long-term uh, rental. Well, the benefit of this particular area where Reliable Realty, our agency is, is that we are sandwiched between um, many resorts. So in that essence, uh, many people that are staying at the resorts actually get off the resorts because they sometimes prefer to go dine at our restaurants versus the, the dining that they have uh, in, in some of the resorts. So uh, we have a very good police uh, here called Politour, Police for Tourists, and they do a very good job of patrolling the area, segways, by car, by motorcycle, by foot, just to make sure that tourists are not being hassled, that everything is safe. So no place on, on the world is 100% safe. Uh, it's not saying that once in a great while we don't hear about a petty theft, but uh, we don't have murders, rapes, or kidnappings at all in this area, never have. So. Um, that's a very comfort comforting feeling for most people when they're uh, contemplating renting a condo versus uh, staying at a resort. Okay, and I want to pick up on something you mentioned uh, is about shopping and about uh, restaurants and about pharmacies. Uh, somebody who's staying in a long-term uh, rental in this area, uh, one of the questions they're going to have is, where do I buy food? Where do I go to the pharmacy uh, to get my prescriptions refilled? Uh, can you speak a little to that? Yeah, sure. Uh, this area is a very beneficial as well because of the fact we're going to take right here. Uh, because of the fact that we are uh, ideally within 15 minute walk uh, to 47 dining options, uh, restaurant, uh, we have a mini market, lots of mini markets. We have grocery stores, we have pharmacies, we have any, anything you can possibly imagine that's going to be within a short walking distance from all of the condos that we do manage. Our company does manage approximately 60 properties. And I want to say that they're primarily short-term rentals, 
being a minimum of say four days to a maximum maybe three to four months so we don't really do long-term rentals but we do service a lot of our Canadian repeat clients we love them we love our Canadian clients uh, they do like to come and stay for maybe three four sometimes five months at a time okay and another question that uh, people would have is in terms of electricity costs and they're going to be staying at a, a condo for let's say two months, three months in the winter, uh, what could they expect to pay on a monthly basis for electricity given moderate air conditioning use? Well, I'm glad you said moderate air conditioning use because I always have to respond. <laughs> Typically, it depends on your usage. If you like a lot of air conditioner, well then obviously your electric bill will be higher. Uh, most people are gonna be spending their time on the beach, not in the condo anyway, um, or in the property anyway. They're gonna be on the beach, they're gonna be out and about. Uh, but uh, so like for me, I just use the air conditioner at night because I'm working during the day and our bill for a three bedroom villa by the beach, about 1500 square feet, uh, runs about $180 a month on an average. Oh, that's actually uh, quite affordable. Yeah, uh, we don't have we don't have gas. So it's not like where I'm from originally Michigan and you, in Canada where we have to have that uh, heating bill too. So we don't need heat here. So you save on that altogether. We don't have any of that expense. Okay, now we're approaching the condominium property now, and I must say, this is the first time I see it, and I was almost fooled. I was, I was thinking we were walking towards a resort. Um, <laughs> it's quite nice. Now, mm -hmm. I've got the camera on the property so everybody can uh, see what we're seeing. Uh, tell us a little bit about this property. It looks beautiful. Yeah, these, uh, there are, I believe, 57 units in here. I've been here for a long time selling, since 2008, so I was... Uh, the brokerage that sold the most properties in here uh, when it was brand spanking new, new construction, even before they broke ground, I think I sold like nine of them in here. So uh, it's a beautiful property, know the developer well. And uh, so th what they did was they decided to make it more like a resort. That's why it feels like more of a resort. They ended up putting in a nice lobby here. And I noticed. As you can see, yep. You have security we as do. we come in. Yes. All the condo communities do have 24 seven security. Um, typically it's gonna be twice. It, during the day, at nighttime, they lock this door. Everybody will have a little bob, so you can just get in that way. Security does need to know who's coming in and out. If they don't know who you are, it's somebody new, he will check to make sure that uh, you're supposed to be here. So security is excellent here. So this particular um, Coaster Hermosa has, uh, there used to be some chairs here. The owners are talking about putting that back in there again and a little refrigerator in the back so they could have their little bar, maybe uh, tailgate parties, things like that in here. And I like we have a little book sharing area yeah, there. That's exactly. A, a nice little touch. It is. Oh my, look at this. <laughs> oh my. You know, we usually have people that say nothing against the resorts. I love going to the resorts mm -hmm. myself still sometimes, but um, but a lot of people, once they've done the condo renting, they said, oh, we're never going to go back to a, to an all-inclusive resort because this is Well, my wife beautiful. is here in one of these units right now, and I'm not sure she's going to be coming back to the hotel with me. This is <laughs> stunning. Okay, so let's take a little walking tour and look at one yeah. of the units. We're actually going to go on this side. It's building okay. G. And actually, this is uh, Robert over here. Robert is uh, sells real estate in Canada. And so he's here kind of training. He's going to be assisting in collaboration with us. And so they're, they're actually renting the condo from us. So that's why we thought this would be a good topic to talk about as well. So we'll go see the condo. And yes. um, I'm sure Jean is a very good housekeeper. So I'm sure it looks nice. <laughs> Hello. So this area primarily does um, attract North Americans, Canadians, Americans, and maybe English-speaking Europeans. We do get some South Americans as well, but mostly English-speaking peoples who um, this particular area attracts, not just Costa Hermosa, but the entire area of uh, El Cortecito and Los Corrales. We're gonna have to take the steps. Okay, okay, so now we are gonna be entering the unit, so you can have a look at what to expect. And here we go. Oh my, this is absolutely stunning. Look how modern this is. Look how well appointed it is. Yeah, these are very large. Um, it's around uh, 1,527 square feet. 
So a lot of people just prefer that extra space. They have their own kitchen. Uh, they can go to the grocery store, save some money, cook their own food, you know, go out to the restaurants too on occasion. But, um, but they just feel more like they're at home. You know, they have their own space. And I have to say right now, the ceiling fan is on and it's delightfully cool. It's not too hot. And uh, today is a hot day in Punta Cana. Um, do you mind if I just have a little walk here? Yes, I, sure. I won't. Uh, and, we're... and I'll open the slider too so you can. Hmm. Oh, Hi, I didn't see this. We have a terrace. We have a company out there that can sit yes. out and enjoy their... No, you're dinner. fine. And who's this pretty lady? <laughs> nice seeing you again. So, Maria, mm -hmm. tell us a bit about uh, your uh, rental property uh, services. And also, I hear that you're a very knowledgeable real estate agent. Right. So, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be leaving your contact information uh, in the description of the video as well as in the blog post. Okay, great. So, anything you want to add about uh, your company? Well, we, we're one of the uh, very few full service real estate companies. And when we say full service, uh, we often get people that say, well, I, I don't live here, I buy a property, now what? And so a lot of people don't think about that. You know, they listen to maybe a nice silver tongue uh, real estate sales agent, they buy the property and then they get paid their commissions and boom, they're like, now what do we do? So we do everything. I mean, from getting the SAPAM, the electric meter uh, changed over to getting the Claro TV internet uh, we do 100% guest services, VIP guest services. So our office is a short walk away. So if they need to book an excursion, if they want have a question, where do I order pizza? If they don't speak the language and they need us to order pizza, we can do all of those services, anything you imagine. And so that's why our office is very close to the majority of the properties that we do manage, which is around 60 right now. So it's about the max that we'll take is around 55 to 60 properties. We don't want to overdo it. So. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you for joining us yeah. today. This was so informative, and I must tell you, I'm thoroughly impressed with what I see here. It's a whole different side of Punta Cana that I honestly didn't know existed, and uh, boy, look at this. So that's it for the vlog today. I'd like to uh, thank everybody for watching, and we'll catch you on our next episode. See you later.